My name is Ejaz, and I'm taking you inside last night. Back to the topic at hand. Cherry blossoms fall and they accent the sands. My virgin eyes met the ocean for the very first time. Used to be landlocked where Indians smoke leaves in a pipe. And that means basically I'm here in this foreign land. You know, I finally, for the first time, get to see a real ocean. And, you know, um, I'm steadily falling in love with this girl, but it's just like the scenery I'm taking in, basically. And Japan is such like a beautiful place, and I've always wanted to go there as a... Uh, just even as a preteen. And I'm um, saying that I used to come from a place where Indians, in Indiana, they used to smoke leaves in the pipe. So I'm saying, oh. She said my cush is vaporized, no need for a light. Oh, fluorescent mind, I'll dive where the desires reside. I feel like Tokyo is so like advanced technologically. And I feel that, uh, well, she doesn't smoke weed. She just vaporizes it. So it's like a cooler way, I guess. I'm saying, okay, I'm high now. And I'm just trying to find out what type of person she is. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna die wherever you want me to. Like, where do you want me to go? Is it sex? Is it how do I how can I learn, you know, your culture through just you know knowing you as a person, but it's still in, as far as a, it's a story and it's a fantasy. She made it feel real like it used to. Spiritual karma sutra, real life Eliza Dushku. Everybody's falling in love, and you know you feel like you lose that spark at one point, and then you find somebody who kind of re reignites the spark. I'm saying like this is the type of person that I just you meet and you click with and it happens that you know even though we're from two different places two different languages we you know see eye to eye on a lot of things whether it be spiritually or just you know artistically that's what I'm all about and um I'm saying real life Eliza Dushku because Elijah Dushku had this show I don't know if anybody remembers it but that was I think that was that's her real name but it was like some kind of ghost show and then she used to kind of know the spirits and like be in people's houses and kind of figure out the mysteries through spiritual connections. So I'm saying, oh, this girl's like a real life Eliza Dushku. Like she can really like feel who I am as a person and see who I am and we kind of connect on that level, so. We represent divine on a human level. The way you grind, rose vine just lost another petal. I wanted to create it as like something really uh, metaphorically like, okay, I feel like we're like angels right now we're doing this like sinful thing but you know we're representing it instead of trying to say to a decree that we are those things and i feel like like sexual intercourse is probably like the most like spiritual thing you can go through with another person so it's like we represent we're representing divine on a human level just the way you grind and the imagery of a you know a vine losing a rose petal like i think that's pretty like a spiritual thing to see or even just like th to envision, I guess, in a metaphorical sense. She knelt down and kissed the world off his axis, and God was pretty mad that I had let that shit happen. It's kind of like a double metaphor, kissing the world off his axis. I kind of wanted to touch on like, <laughs> it's like in a sexual sense, and it's in like, like a, a like beyond belief sense. Like she kissed my world off his axis. Like, like I was in a whole different world when I'm rocking with this female. So, and um. And I'm saying, like, God was pretty shitty about that. I mean, not saying I know God on a personal level, but I'm pretty sure if somebody moved the world off his axis, he would probably wouldn't want them to have that power or that uh, grip on life or grip on a person. She cleaned up her tears. We love with no fear. No colors were involved. No family or no peers. But shit, that was years ago. You were the only fear at home back in Tokyo. Tokyo. We got over our adversities and stuff like that and basically just tried to, you know, be in love in that moment, even though we knew it wasn't going to last, knowing that I come from a different world as, as does she and saying we didn't let any adversities or any other people or any insights affect those feelings. And uh, by the time that I'm kind of saying this verse to the person listening, it's saying that I'm already back where I belong and I'm just kind of reflecting on the moment that I had with that person. So. That's about it. Last night in Tokyo. Last night.